everyone, I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. We're, We're the, the Crafty, Crafty Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks. Welcome back to Handmade and happy fall, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. You had to do it. <laughs> Fall is a great time to put your own spin on classic takes of the season. Today we're going to be taking our own fresh take on the classic magnolia wreath. Let's get started. Now, magnolia leaves are super gorgeous and they set the whole tone uh, for the season of fall. But you know, if you don't have a magnolia tree, they can be super expensive. Yes, so today we're gonna make our leaves out of crepe paper. Now, this isn't the crepe paper you find at the party store in streamer form. This is a thicker version, usually found at a craft store or online. It's meant for floral petals and they're beautiful, but the paper's really delicate. Yes, so today we're actually going to uh, sandwich these together using opposite grains to make the leaf a little steady and then give it a cut and use that to create a wreath. Yes, and it's going to be two-toned, so it's going to be really fun to play with. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this outside, we're going to add a light coat of spray adhesive, sandwich them together, and then we'll be ready to cut. We have everything laid out in opposite side grains. Now I'm just going to take our spray adhesive, shake it really well, and do a really light coating over this. I don't want to do too much because it'll saturate and then soak the um, crepe paper. So just a light misting is going to do the trick. And with the spray adhesive, you want to wait a little bit before you combine and sandwich the pieces together because you just want to allow it to get a little tacky before uh, gluing them together. Now that it's tacky to the touch, I'm going to sandwich them together and just press them really well. So opposite grains here, because they're right on top of each other. I'm not overstretching it. And I'm going to press it really, really well and then move on. Now it's time to cut out our leaves. Before we do that, we're gonna make a template. This way each leaf is the same and it's just easier to do than cutting them out freehand. Now I have a piece of cardstock here. What I'm going to do is fold it in half and then draw the shape of a leaf. Now a magnolia leaf is very similar to a football or an almond. So I'm just gonna draw it right here and then cut it out. It does look like an almond. I thought so, <laughs> right? Yeah. Does this look like a good size? I think so, yes. That's another good thing about using a template. You can check the size before you cut the actual material you're using. So now I'm going to trace it across my paper using as much of it as I can. This is a great technique too because you can kind of decide on how large you want your leaves to be and even how large you want your wreath to be. We're using a wreath form, but you can always cut one out out of a piece of cardboard uh, because you know, you're not gonna see the, the, the wreath. actual wreath itself. Yes. Yeah, that's a great tip. I think wherever you can cut costs and use what you have at home, like why not? All right, now we're gonna start cutting out our leaves. Crepe paper is super easy to cut. Again, we always love to find tasks where we could do where we could um, do it in front of like the TV. So if this bores you to do without anything, you know, put on some music, put on your favorite show. It's a little redundant, but it's really easy to do. All right, so here we have our cut leaf. It's double-sided and it's really sturdy, which is super nice. Look how pretty that is. Another thing I like about cutting out leaves is that they're organic. So if they're not perfectly cut, that's okay. Just say that's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to have an organic look. We have all our leaves cut and ready to go. Now we're just going to glue them to our wreath form. What we did was we separated the colors just so we can easily space them out as we go. So I'm gonna start with one leaf and just add a little bit of glue and then add my next leaf, slightly overlapping it. And this is where you can really let your creativity shine and also kind of choose which colors you like. A color palette that works with your vibe, your aesthetic. Yes. We went with a more traditional uh, neutral vibe with a pop of the purple, which I think is really fun. Yeah, and you know what? Purple is really not a part of our everyday aesthetic. So it's fun to incorporate that every once in a while, especially during um, the holiday season, which we always say is just, you know, the last seven months of the year. Don't we always say that? We do, yes. No, Sorry, I don't I know. Again, where you're going with this gold. Sorry, I think I'm gonna I actually. Like the gold the I gold. know, I yeah, know. See? Great minds. Yes. Now, we're just going for it, but of course, you can always uh, pre uh, lay out your leaves, take a picture with your phone so you can reference it when you're actually hot gluing. Yes. That always helps. And you just want to follow the curve of the wreath form. Did you say fall low the curve? Every time. I'm gonna do two golds, what do you think of that? Do it. Go for the gold. See, there you go. 
We're almost there. It's looking really good. Yes, now to finish off the wreath, we're gonna continue here, but what we wanna do is make sure that we tuck everything in. Wow, I love how this came out. It's really beautiful. And these colors really pop. I'm loving the way it's looking. Yes, but we feel like it needs something extra, so we found these really festive flourishes that we're gonna add to our wreath. Mini pine cones and mini acorns. Yes. They're the perfect accoutrements for our magnolia wreath. Let's do it. We found these fall flourishes at the craft store. What we love about them is they're so versatile. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna peel them apart and then twist them together in bunches of twos and threes. What I also love about this project is you could probably make this using everything you have at home. You don't have to use crepe paper. You can use cardstock, regular paper, or uh, you could, you know, a forge for your yard for pine cones and acorns and all the festive flourishes of fall, yes. you know, and really make it your own. Yes, even if you don't have a yard, go to other people's yards. <laughs> just kidding. No, really, just steal it though. All right, so I'm just twisting them together. So now we're gonna place them in our leaves. Now, before I glue them in though, I'm gonna just place them so we can kind of see how we like them. And then we're just gonna tuck them in. Oh, cute, very cute. Right? You know, it's really those little details that take all your crafts and projects to the next level. Yes, it really is. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to lift a little bit of the leaf and add a little bit of glue and then stick the stem in just like that. Press down as you do it, just to make sure it's nice and secure. And then you can, while you're pressing down, you can bend the wire so it doesn't rip any of the paper. Oh, I love it. Adorable. Fall is here, y'all. Bring on that cool weather. I'm so ready to wear my flannels and my hoodies. All right, oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. What a unique and colorful way to greet your guests for the fall. And if you know us, you know we love easy crafts with a big impact, and here it is. Yes, and what I love about this craft too is that it's really customizable. You can choose your own color palette or your own festive flourishes. Let us know what flourishes you would put on your wreath in a comment below. Subscribe, give us a like, and we hope to see you soon. Happy fall. Bye. Bye.